you guys for a bit because I feel like in my last video I didn't really sit down and I guess explain where I've been what I've been doing uh, in the years that I didn't update so I'm gonna do that now while I take out these beads because I cannot deal with it anymore um they're just quick clacking in my ears so much that I can't I can't do it anymore so I have to take them out. I'm gonna do that now for a bit, sit here and talk to you guys for a bit and then uh, finish taking the rest of these beads out. But for now, I feel like now is a good time to talk about what I did senior year and why I didn't record. In senior year of art school we have to do an exhibition, a solo exhibition, and we have to plan it. It's whatever you want so it's pretty vague and pretty hard to figure out what you want to do and really work on that for a full year. So that's what I did and I just could not bring myself to focus on anything other than my BFA. It was really hard just to sit down and do that overall. So that's what I've been doing senior year. Um, if you guys are interested in me talking about that more or the project that I came up with, I can dedicate another video to that. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much, but my senior year was really hectic. I did a lot 
of finding myself, finding the work that I like to make, and just becoming an artist, like a full-time artist, and really figuring out the style that I like to do as a photographer. And I'm really grateful that I had that experience to actually do that. So I did my BFA. I also got showcased in this really big student exhibition in my school showcases student work and I didn't get it junior year and I feel like you know I wasn't ready so I wasn't too disappointed but I was also surprised <laughs> that I was able to get two pieces into that exhibition along with other photo seniors and not a, not a lot of seniors or a lot of photo majors get into that exhibition so it was really special to all of us um and you know i really went into it with an open mind and i was like oh if i don't win an award it's fine just being in this show overall is enough for me so i went into it and i won three awards uh, i won three awards for this photo and then another award for this one right here so those two won an award but this one won two awards and it's probably one of those pieces that are my best or my most popular piece that a lot of people love so um, yeah so I was able to do that and then I had got the great opportunity to showcase four other pieces in another exhibition and it, it really felt like I was truly becoming an artist and really becoming a good photographer and really honing in on the skills that I've learned in the past three years. And like I said in one of my really old vlogs, I had switched majors from illustration to photography. So that was a big jump. I had no idea what photography was. Like I knew, but I didn't know how broad it can be and the amount of freedom that you have with photography, you... camera died so I had to switch but I started this at 2 30 and it is not late 30. My initial plan was to take out the beads of the braids and not the whole hairstyle but here we are. Um, I didn't expect it to take this long. I feel disgusting with like all the grease and loose hair so I'm gonna go take a shower and I have work tomorrow morning so it was a really bad idea for me to do this but oh well i'm gonna take a shower and get ready for bed and i will see you guys tomorrow at work bye Okay, so it's currently 9 o'clock, um, I'm just stopping by because I will be flying out for a job tomorrow um, and I will be taking you guys along. I already started packing and I didn't record it because I didn't want to bore you guys, but I will be flying out, working for two days and hopefully getting a job so I can move out and yeah, I will take you guys along and do like the standardized plane video and try to 
capture some footage with friends. I won't record during work because I'm trying to get the job and I don't want to be distracted. Yeah, let's go to Cleveland.